Hello again guys, Hayden here and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront video and I hope you're all having an awesome day. Today we're going to be talking about why I think Battlefront 3 would be the most successful game in Star Wars history. But today, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss an upload. Anyway, I don't want to bore you, so let's get straight into this. Now, Battlefront 3 has so, so much potential and if they release it correctly, it has the possibility to be the best Star Wars game ever made, and here's why I think that. As someone who has played Battlefront 2 since release, that's four years, I know a lot of mistakes they have made. First of all, it was paid to win, and a lot of people didn't like that. I, re I didn't mind really too much, I just liked the grinding and everything, but a lot of people didn't like that. But most importantly, it lacked one era that everyone wanted, which is the Clone Wars. But I think the biggest problem at all, the biggest thing there, was... They were put under so much pressure to get the game out. It wasn't finished. That's it. It just wasn't finished. And therefore, they spent the first year or so fixing Battlefront 2, which just put a lot of people off it, and also meant there was nothing new for so long in the game. So the game was released, and it wasn't even finished. There were so many bugs and glitches. They spent the first, what, year and a half fixing it, and it probably put so many people off. And also meant there was nothing new for so, so long. So straight off the bat, they screwed up, screwed it up. The beginning was really bad. But don't get me wrong, at the moment, the game is probably one of the best Star Wars games ever, in my opinion. I love this game, and it's pretty perfect for me. So don't get me wrong about that. I do love the game. But it is getting boring. It is slowly getting more and more and more boring, until the point that one day I'm not going to want to play it anymore, which is going to be a very scary day for me, because I don't know what I'll play after that. So, for Battlefront 3, they have learned a lot from their mistakes with Battlefront 2. Firstly, don't rush it. Take your time. Secondly, just focus on Clone Wars as that's what we want. And thirdly, regular updates. Now, if they do these three steps, it will be the best game ever. As we want Ahsoka, Ventress, Qui-Gon, Mace Windu, Jango, Savage Fest. They are the heroes the fan wants. So add them into the game and I'm sure most people will get the game. But the game needs to be released with at least two of these with the promise they will all be added as well as future DLCs such as the Old Republic, so Satelli Shan, Chaos and Darek, Malgus Vindersen and many more including Jason Malcolm who I think is the most OP character in Star Wars. He fought Sith. He's just a normal trooper. He's just a soldier and he absolutely destroyed quite a few Sith. So if you, if you haven't seen the Old Republic fan film, go and have a look at it. But um, also... A Rogue One update. I'm I'm not too fussed with this. We have Scarif. I don't need a space battle, and I'm not really fussed about the heroes. But um, a bounty hunter update would also be really cool. So different skins. So the Mandalorian skin for Boba Fett. Some uh, a battle damage Django skin. Something like that. And if they promise us this and fulfil what they said, it will hands down be the best Star Wars game by far. Now, if you didn't know, a while back, Battlefront 2 went free on PS4, Xbox, and PC. And 18 million got it on PS4, and 19 million got it on PC. So, EA can see everyone loves Battlefront, and wants another one. They made the game free for one week, and that many people joined. Like, what the hell? And when they, they made it free for one week, when they stopped updating it, and that many people joined? Which is, it's unbelievable. So... So many people joined, the game actually broke, and they had to come and fix the game. If that isn't a sign to make a Battlefront 3, I really don't know what is. And they released a list of the best Star Wars games, and Battlefront 2015 was first, Fallen Order was second, and Battlefront 2017 was third. So out of the games made, Battlefront seems to be the best idea, and that's where the money is. EA need to realise this, and I don't understand how they haven't. Battlefront is where all the money is. They need to invest their money into that because that is exactly what everyone is going to pay for if they have the right content in it. Now then, the most important thing with the release of Battlefront 3, if it ever happens, well, I think when it happens, is um, how are they going to market it? So Battlefront 1, they used the at and Hoth. Battlefront 2 used Maul and Yoda. Battlefront 3 needs Ahsoka and Coruscant because they are two huge things the game's that the game needs and it's lacking it and the game wants it and um the front cover could be something like i thought savage fest in the middle and then um like ahsoka on the left and mace window on the right something like that look at the thumbnail of my video 
I think the front cover to the game should be looking something like that. And this is probably the perfect way to market it, using the Clone Wars stuff and then using the Clone Wars on the front. But anyway guys, that is all for today. I just wanted to do a very short and quick video of why I think Battlefront 3 will be the most successful game in Star Wars history. And um, let me know down in the comments if you think I'm right. If they implement these three steps, do you think they will be so popular? Will this game be really popular? Or do you think people just have given up on the franchise already? What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you think this all sounds amazing. Now, if you have TikTok and you like TikTok and you want to check out my TikTok, um, how many times can I say TikTok? Um, my TikTok account is either Hayden Alex or you can search at Hayden Simmons to find the same one. But that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, enable notifications so you never miss an upload. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.